I'm going to use Audacity because the screen capture I'm using from TechSmith only um, records one speaker. So, anyway, I'll try to get through this as fast as possible. It's 66 replies, but I'm only going to, I only have a few things to say about this. Okay, so Space Force Commander says, and this, this video is, um, it's a David Pacman video. Conservative media has already moved the goalpost, saying that the approval was rushed. If I took, if it took longer to approve, they would say, why did it take so long to approve? Implying that there's something nefarious, that, but yeah, replying that there's something nefarious was going on. So my first reply was, so ask the conservative media where their fucking treatments are. Meaning, you know, what have they, what have they, uh, offered up as a, you know, ways to deal with the COVID. And, uh, obviously, I mean, they're just saying that it was rushed and what took it so long. It's just a straw man to, uh, it's just another effort to shit on the vaccine as their anti-vaccine and mask. But anyway, these, um, Leonard Shepard comes in or replies to me saying horse dewormer and he gets 17 thumbs up for this. And, uh, that bugs me because he's ignoring the, the context. The context being that, uh, the conservative media has nothing to offer themselves, but they're, you know, they're, as he said, moving the goalpost. They're committing a fallacy. They're saying that the approval was rushed. You know, and uh, as I was saying that, you know, where, where's their, where's the conservative media's, what do they have to offer people in, in dealing with COVID? That's my point. But now I, at this point, this was a week ago and I haven't even heard of this horse dewormer. I've watched re videos afterwards and I finally have. Um, uh, so, yeah, I don't even know what the hell this guy's talking about, but the fact that, uh, these people are taking these horse dewormers has nothing to do with what I'm trying to ask or say. And, uh, yeah, I mean, pfft, fuck. So anyway, I'll carry on about the replies here, you know, it's just bizarre to me. Okay, so I ask, you know, Leonard Shepard, huh? Like, what are you talking about? Then Jeremy Whistle comes in. He's right. Many of them are getting sick on horse dewormers. These people have become brainwashed to the point of the undue stupidity. Again, another guy ignoring the fact that he obviously didn't realize, didn't read my first reply. My point is that the conservative media have not provided anything of their own, but yet they're complaining about the rushed approval. Bags. It just annoys me, and this guy gets 13 thumbs up. Completely ignoring what the fuck is being said. Okay, so this is the first time I'm hearing of these horse dewormers in the context of COVID. Uh, this guy has nothing to do with me. Everyone on Fox and the Newsmax, Newsmax are vaccinated. It's Shan comes coming from Shanna Swigger. And I ask her later what, what her point is. No answer. Alter ego. Ivermectin is the technical name of the of the wormer, I believe. It's for cattle. Yep, cattle. What is your point, Alter Ego? Again, hissy fits. What is your fucking point? Let's see here. It goes on and all that. Okay, more replies. I think it does anyway. Oh yeah, there's another guy. Blackmark52. First time I'm hearing about horse dewormers. You may have heard of people talking about ivermectin and not n not thought too much of it. There's the horse dewormer that anti-vaxxers think is an alternative to vacci vaccination. Well, again, Blackmark my original comment was that what are the media or conservative media bringing forward as ideas to do? I'm not, I don't care what they're doing. What? Why don't you people understand that? 
All right, I think I'll leave it at that before my blood, before I have blood problems, some blood pressure problems here, because you guys are fucking idiots. <laughs>